Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Capresso Easy Pro Espresso and Cappuccino Machine. It measures 11 and a half inches tall by 8 inches wide and 11 inches deep. The machine weighs 12 pounds. The housing is stainless steel, sleek, and looks great on your countertop. It uses a pump boiler which keeps the water at the right temperature for brewing. The unit comes with a plastic water tank that has a max line and holds 42 ounces. These two plastic tabs slide right into these black ones. The frothing wand is stainless steel and commercial style. It's not a plastic panarello like you'd find in some other models. The drip tray is plastic. It's a little bit flimsy compared to the rest of the machine, but it is large. The grid is stainless steel. There are two espresso filters included. The double spout porta filter with two cups sieve. Just match this up with the notch. Drops right in. This is the filter to use if you're a beginner. It's easy and convenient. It's also stainless steel, so it's durable. This bottomless porta filter with one cup sieve is for people who know what they're doing and are at an advanced skill level. Press it right in. A plastic scoop and tamper are included, as well as a quick reference guide and detailed instruction guide. It's worth reading. There are a lot of good tips for getting the perfect cup of coffee. Clean the machine before using. Fill the tank with water. Place the porta filter with no coffee into the machine and lock it into place. The lock is right in the middle. Turn the machine to on and make sure the button is on the coffee symbol. We're going to wait for the green light to come on. Turn the dial to coffee. The water will flow out. Turn the dial to off after about one minute. Now you're ready to use the machine. It's a good idea to warm your cup before brewing espresso. You can put the cup on top of the machine or pour hot water into the cup and discard. I find that the top of the unit doesn't get hot enough to warm your cup, so I would just rinse the cup out with hot water. Make sure your porta filter and sieve are dry. Fill the sieve with finely ground coffee. Level it off with your fingers and tamp the coffee with either the included plastic tamp or you can get a more heavyweight one. Remove any excess from the rim. Insert the porta filter and pull gently to the lock position. Put a cup on the drip tray. Make sure the green light is on. Turn the dial to the coffee symbol. Turn the dial to off when you have the right amount of espresso. And there's our beautiful cup of espresso. I've had many cups of these and they're delicious. To froth milk, the sieve and the porta filter should be in the lock position. Press the switch to the right for steam and wait for the green light. Use the frothing grip to move the wand down towards the holes and turn the dial to steam for about 10 seconds. We'll froth about four ounces of cold whole milk. Put the wand in the milk, about a third of an inch down, and turn the dial to steam. Keep the pitcher at a 45 degree angle. The wand should be close to the surface. The milk should whirlpool for about 30 seconds. When the pitcher gets too hot to hold, you want to turn the dial to off. Usually this process takes about 45 seconds. You do have to practice and get the technique and time right. There are a lot of good online sources and they're worth watching. Clean the wand with a wet cloth immediately after use. Push the wand down back to the drip tray. Turn the dial to steam for a few seconds to purge. Tap the pitcher to settle the milk. Roll it around lightly to incorporate the foam and milk. Now make your best attempt at latte art. Can we call this a stingray? Maybe. I'm definitely not a barista. With lots of practice, you can make beautiful latte art. And again, there are a lot of good videos on how to make latte art, so I would suggest watching them. To clean, unlock the porta filter to the left. Empty out the coffee and wash the porta filter and sieve with warm water. Both sieves can be cleaned with a stiff brush. 
And if there's any coffee stuck in the holes, use a pin to remove them. Put a cup on the drip tray and turn the dial to coffee. Let water run for a few seconds to purge the brew head and turn the dial to the center. Once the machine cools down, wipe the brew head with a cloth. The water tank, grid, and drip tray can be cleaned with warm soapy water. The tip of the frothing wand can be removed and soaked in hot water for cleaning. The Capresso is a good espresso machine at this price point. You get a great looking unit. It makes a delicious espresso with nice crema, froths milk really well, and is pretty easy to use. The frothing wand requires that you spend a little bit of time learning to froth milk properly. You do have to do a little bit of work to get the perfect cup of coffee. I've put the link to the Capresso in the description below. If there are any products that you'd like to see reviewed, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.